Welcome back, everybody. So we're going to have another tasting of my El Dorado Turo and Marisada homebrew. Um, this is using US 05 114. Uh, not sure what year. 7.39% ABV. Um, I just finished the regular Marisada version, and I will tell you it was not good. Um, but I've been saving these uh, just to see what happens when you let them age. Uh, some of them might turn out good. I've already had one that has went from an IPA to a okay brown uh, that I would drink. Do I recommend this? No. But I need to clear some space. I'm going to brew up a whole bunch of beers and I need the bottles. So I need to get rid of these and I think two years is long enough. Um, but we'll see. So Hiss, good smoke, uh, four small pearl carbonation tablets. I do not remember what the grain bill or what the brew bill was. Uh, I will put this in a playlist and I would suggest, I'm going to stop there, um, go back up to the top and watch each one as I did drink them. I believe it was a month after I bottled them. Uh, so I brewed them let them uh, ferment for two weeks, bottled for a month. Uh, then I did that first review. So I don't know how many of these I have left, um, but I'm guessing once I get done with a whole bunch of these, I'm just going to throw the rest out, uh, open them, and dump them. Um, so I have the bottles. But uh, I think this is fun just to see what happens. And some of you get to watch my face when I try these. Uh, so this is a combination um, Whitehead, it looks like it's staying. So this is the Marisada version. This is the two-row Marisada. But, um, yeah, that had dissipated. Uh, light orange, lighter orange than that. Uh, I could see that color if you combine those two malts. I mean, you guys can see me right through there. Uh, clear, uh, bottle condition, definitely. It looks like it might be overcarbed. I don't know if you guys can see this. Um, it is getting angry and trying to come out, but the head is now creeping up some. So I would say this one is, might be overcarbed. That's how bottle bombs start, uh, but that's for a different video. Uh, let's go ahead and smell. More malt, like a light caramel malt light I, I'll take that back light syrup malt with citrus like double it is it's almost a double isn't it yeah I was gonna say almost like a double but not quite there it does it hey, maybe a touch of orange um in there but definitely smells like a double i almost a double ipa like the characters are there like if i had this i would say okay it's a double but it's light it just it just smells a little low and i don't know why let's go ahead and taste uh citrus fruit uh like i said maybe a touch of citrus in there but that's about it Ooh, yeah, okay. Uh, big syrupy malt, sweet, but a lot of bitterness. Um, big grapefruit rind bitterness. Like, if you took, if you took a rind of grapefruit and could put so much syrup on it, where the syrup was the dominant taste, that's what this is. But still there, like that syrupy malt goes through the whole entire palate. A little alcohol in the end too, but through the whole entire palate, but that bitterness is like, okay, I'm here. Like, I don't, I'm not a big, huge syrupy malt fan. So I don't want to drink this. I'm doubting a lot of people. Ah. Somebody big into big double IPAs where you get that sweet malt syrup with that bitterness, I think would drink this. 
maybe like a candied orange in the aftertaste now. Yeah, but it's not for me. I'm not going to drink any more of this. Uh, it turned out okay, but I would say this is probably better when it was fresh. So if you enjoyed this review, check some more out over here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. And until next time, cheers.